Blanco Glass Company, located in Milton, West Virginia, is known for its artistic hand-blown glass. History William J. Blanco was born in London, England in 1853. He worked at a glass factory in his youth. In 1893, he emigrated to Kokomo, Indiana, in the U.S., where he established the first American factory to produce sheet glass for stained glass windows. In 1903, he was forced to close his factory and return to England, due to an economic downturn. His second business venture was in 1909, in Point Marion, Pennsylvania. This endeavor quickly failed, as did a third, in Clarksburg, West Virginia. At that time, Blanco found work at other established Ohio and West Virginia glass companies and purportedly received a job offer from Lewis Comfort Tiffany. In 1921, Blanco started another sheet glass company, this time setting up in Milton, West Virginia, spurred on by the low natural gas prices in the area, a major concern for glass manufacturers of the time, which drew many prospective glassblowers to the area. His new company was originally named Eureka Glass Company, later changing the name to Blanco. Until the arrival of his son, William H. Blanco, in 1923, he had no employees, making and selling all of his glass himself. Soon after the onset of the Great Depression, which decimated the stained glass market, Blanco began to produce stemware and tableware, after finding two expert glassblowers to work for the company in 1930. However, this did not mean the end of Blanco's stained glass industry. Blanco Glass Company still produces hand-blown sheet glass for use in stained glass windows, as well as architectural glass. Blanco's early successes include providing glass for the stained glass windows of St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City, helping the company earn national recognition. Prior to 1946, Blanco's tableware output was largely functional and classical in form but sold very well at high-end department stores throughout the country. As a testament to the popularity of Blanco's early tableware, the White House has a collection of Blanco tableware, which is used periodically. Change came in 1947 with the decision to hire Winslow Anderson as a full time design director. The work of the company's first designers achieved critical acclaim, including having several of Anderson's designs receive the Museum of Modern Art's Good Design Awards in 1950, thereby ensconcing Blanco as a leader in modern American glass through the 1950s and 1960s. Blanco's historic period the focus of collector and cultural interest, begins with Anderson in 1946 and includes the work of John Nickerson up to 1974. The second designer, Wayne Husted, did much to propel the company into the forefront of cutting-edge design, notably including pioneering the concept of «architectural scale» designs. In 1964, Joel Philip Myers, Husted's successor and founder of the Studio Glass movement, further improved the company's importance and reputation by directly engaging Blanco with Studio Glass. A new wave of public interest in Blanco began with the opening of the Blanco Museum in 2000, the first independent organization dedicated to research and education of the company's historical work. Aside from curating year-long exhibitions of the company's work, the Blanco Museum worked with the Corning Museum of Glass in 2005 to include Blanco in a small but powerful survey exhibition organized by Tina Oldno, curator of Modern Glass, titled Decades in Glass, the 50s featuring Wayne Husted's designs. With strong interest from collectors and nationwide exposure on PBS television specials, the company's reputation has grown to reach new audiences. 
Two Blanco documentaries, Blanco, Hearts of Glass and Retro Blanco, Three Designers of American Glass, gave the company national exposure and lead to Blanco glassware being frequently featured in PBS pledge drives nationwide. Fourth generation company President Richard Blanco often personally participated in these pledge drives, generating a sharp spike in publicity and positive effects on the company. The Blanco Glass Company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in May 2011. In August, 2012 Blanco Vice President Katie Tripp announced that Blanco Glass was rebounding after filing for bankruptcy protection. Citing increased sales and lower gas prices she said the company is making a strong effort to move forward. A reorganization plan was accepted by the court in December 2012, clearing the way for the company to exit bankruptcy in early 2013. The company exited bankruptcy in 2013 and continues to produce art glass for the consumer market. Despite increased fuel costs, a short period of inactivity, and a rapidly changing industry and marketplace, the company continues to produce glass artware. On August 3, 2015, the eight annual Festival of Glass held in Milton, West Virginia brought in collectors from around the U.S. Blanco's special commissions include the Country Music Awards trophy and numerous sculptures by the contemporary studio glass artist Hank Adams, represented in many museums throughout the U.S. The Blanco Factory The Blanco Glass Company is housed in a multi-building facility including the Visitors Center, Office Building and Manufacturing, Shipping and Warehouse Facilities. The Visitors Center's first floor contains items available for sale including, seconds. While the upper floor contains a small display of Blanco's historical work, primarily early pieces from the 1930s and some experimental pieces and most notably includes a gallery of stained glass windows made with Blanco sheet glass by different artisans. Attached to the visitor's center is an observation area, allowing visitors to watch as the glass is blown. Beside the center is a garden of glass, installed by Joel Myers, on the shore of a small, man made lake bordering the factory, strewn with colorful glass shards, which borders a small trail that winds around part of the factory. <laughs> 